All right, this is section 9.3, number 60, and in this problem we're asked to graph it and to identify what the vertex is. So this is a, this is a quadratic, and the very first thing I'm going to notice is that the uh, A term is negative, which means in the end the, the, uh, the graph is going to open up downward. But uh, my first step in graphing this is going to be to identify the vertex. So remember that the vertex we're going to find the x value of the vertex by finding negative b over 2a. And then after we find that, we're going to find the y value. So our first step is to um, find a negative b over 2a. So we're going to have the opposite of b, which is negative 2, over uh, 2 times a, which is negative 3. And that's going to be a positive 2 in the numerator and a negative 6 in the denominator, which is going to simplify to negative 1 third. Now that we have the x value of the vertex, we're going to have to plug it back into the original equation to find the y value. So our original equation is, you know, y on the left, and then we're going to do the opposite of 3 times x squared, x, of course, is now negative one-third. And we're going to subtract from that uh, two times negative one-third and minus one. So now we have a bunch of fractions to deal with. This is going to be a, a kind of a pain, but now we have to follow our order of operations as we go through this, make sure that we don't make any sign errors. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to square the negative one-third, and that's going to become, of course, positive one-ninth. So we'll have negative three times positive one-ninth. Uh, then we're going to have negative two times negative one-third, and that's going to turn out to be a positive two-thirds. And the negative one just kind of st sitting out there still. So I've got to uh, now multiply my negative 3 times my 1 ninth, and that's going to be uh, simplified down to negative 1 third. So I have negative 1 third uh, plus 2 thirds, and I'll change my negative 1 into thirds by multiplying by 3 over 3. So I'll have my negative 1 become negative 3 thirds. Now I can add all those fractions because they have the... Uh, same denominator, and so negative 1 plus 2 minus 3, and that's going to be uh, negative 2 thirds. So now I've got my vertex. The x value of my vertex is going to be negative 1 third, and the y value of my vertex is going to be negative 2 thirds. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my graph and, and put the uh, vertex into the graph uh, and then I'll go ahead and plot some points. Okay, because I'm dealing with uh, some fractions here and some small numbers, I'm going to make every one of these, uh, my scale a little bit bigger so that I can make my graph a little bit easier to understand. So I'm going to make this a 1 and this a 2, etc. So when I go to graph my vertex, I'll go to negative one-third on the x value. That's going to be, you know, part of the way towards negative 1. And then I'm going to go to negative 2 thirds in my y value. That's going to be most of the way down to negative 1 down here. And so I'm going to say that uh, it's going to be somewhere in here. I don't know how accurate this is, but I think it's good enough for right now. As soon as I have uh, gra graphed my vertex, I also like to sketch in my axis of symmetry right then. And so for our axis of symmetry, remember the axis of symmetry is going to be just the, uh, the x value. So uh, at negative one-third, we've got our axis of symmetry. So I kind of like to sketch that in there. Again, it's a dotted line because the dotted line indicates that the graph uh, starts there but is not included in that negative or that, uh, that dotted line. Now I'm just going to plot some points. So I'm going to come up here and make a little t-graph. I'm going to plug some x values in, some y values in, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in 
0 for x. When I plug in 0 for x, I'm going to get uh, 0 uh, minus 0 minus 1, so negative 1 is my y value. And then I'm going to go ahead and graph that. So I'll go to uh, 0 on the x, negative 1 on the y, and that's about right here. And then using my symmetry, I know that I'm going to have another point, and it's going to be about right here. So when I plot that one point, I have a second point because of my symmetry. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use and my other, my next input is going to be 1 for x, because it looks to me like that will be a little bit easier to, uh, to do the math on. So I'm going to have 1 squared times negative 3. That's negative 3. So I've got negative 3, and then i got negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, so negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5, minus 1 is negative 6. So I have the point 1, negative 6. So I'll go to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm already coming way down here off my graph, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to be down here below where I am. So I'm going to go down, and uh, it's going to be off my graph somewhere in here. This one's going to be the same distance away. Uh, off the graph down here and that should give me enough points to go ahead and try to uh, make a, a smooth graph if I can. So I'll start here and this is going to be the general shape of the graph of my parabola and that will be good enough for me.